welcome to the class. This is my last lecture today. With this, we would have completed seven chapters. There is only one more hour after this left for chapter 8, where we will look at the role that analytics and monitoring can play in electric vehicles. What I was doing in the last class was looking at variety of chargers. We looked at onboard charger, we looked at public chargers, we looked at bulk chargers and Dr. Prabhjot has given you a fairly good understanding of the various public chargers and bulk chargers. In today's talk, I am going to do something fairly minimum and yet is important. Coming back to India, in Indian context, the economics of public chargers. There has been a lot of talk, go and put public chargers, maybe government can provide subsidy. The question is, if a business puts this chargers, public chargers for people to use, will the business make money? Yes, some subsidy can be there, but with what subsidy, when can business make money? If the energy operator who installs the chargers do not make money, then they are not going to install the charger. They will take into account the subsidy, but finally, the charges have to be there for the vehicles to be used, to use them and ply in a large scale. It is like a question of petrol pumps. Do petrol pumps make money? In the beginning when there were only very few vehicles, probably petrol pumps did not make money. And that time government provided subsidy. But after some time, the petrol pumps started money, making money. In fact, it is one of the most profitable business and people used to contend with each other some of the businesses saying, can I get a right to set up a petrol pump? Because I know it is a guaranteed money, vehicles will come in, they will fill up the petrol and I will get my commission. For ultimately, public charges has to become the, the same manner. One difference between petrol pump and public charges is petrol pump fills petrol in a vehicle for in, in 3 minutes, 5 minutes and the vehicle goes away. So, theoretically at a peak time almost 15 vehicles can get petrol filled. Whereas, as far as the charges are concerned, even if I put fast charger for one hour, it will take at least one hour to charge. And one of the problem is, when it is one hour to charge, the person will come park the car, go away somewhere, it is not going to sit there one hour, nobody is going to sit there. So, person may not come back exactly in one hour. So, there are issues involved in public charges and we will deal with the economics of public charges. So, public charge must be available wherever it is needed. I am not going to drive long distance to go and find petrol, a public charges. Petrol pumps are available pretty much close to wherever you are. Now, of course, it may be a half a kilometer, a kilometer away and there could be today's world, it is easy. We can put on a mobile phone, where is your nearest public charges? and you can actually go there. The other important thing is, suppose there is a public charger where, charger where there are four chargers. Are the four chargers, one of the chargers free? If somebody else is using them, you may have to wait for one hour to just or 45 minutes just to insert the charger, to even start the charger. So, you can have an app which will tell you where are the chargers available and where is it free, you can book it and then go. So, I will take into account here a fast charger which will charge in one hour. 
slow ones can charge in 4 hours, 4 hours, 5 hours, let us take 4 hours. Hmm. Now, for me as a vehicle owner for the chargers to be available, there has to be large number of such chargers. The first point I want to repeat, I had earlier also talked about that the petrol pumps are not designed to handle unless vehicles are serviced in less than 5 minutes. Petrol pumps are designed basically can hold maybe 4 or 5 vehicles small petrol pump. So, there can be 2 pumps. So, the 2 pumps are getting filled, 2 pumps are 2 are behind maybe 1 or 2 are leaving that is all. That is the size of a petrol pump, small petrol pump, larger ones may have larger numbers. If you put vehicle chargers, whether fast or slow, just takes too long a time, it is not the right place to put the chargers, public chargers. What are the right places? Parking lots, car parks, homes, offices, cinema halls, huh? malls. Why? Because restaurants, because if you go to these places, you are going to at least, if you are going to restaurant at least 40 minutes, 45 minutes, maybe more. So, charging, putting it for charging, for fast charging is perfectly all right. In office or homes, you can do slow charges. Hmm? Parking lots also you can do slow charging as well as fast charging. Somebody will park and then you stay for 4 5 hours can just park there a movie when it is going. So, park it slow charging is ok. On the other hand if you are going for a 45 minutes 1 hour even purchasing something you like to do fast charging. So, parking lots car parks etcetera are more suitable. The important thing that most people do not understand is that it is not enough to have technically a good charger. Technically a good charger, what does it consist of? Dr. Prabhjot has already told you. The question is business viability. Business viability of the capital cost to install a charger. Capital cost involves not just the cost of the charger, but also you have to draw a power line. Huh? So, the power cord discom company may ask you for money to do that. Then there is a space cost. If the car is going to be stayed there for one hour, uh, somebody has to pay for the space. Of course, if it is a parking lot, it is not a problem because parking lot anyway um, person would have paid for parking lot. Hmm? Then all the operational cost, the cost of course of electricity, is, is there a person needed. Hmm? So, you need to determine what all these costs will be and what will be the revenue. And it should finally, the energy operator who will put the charger must make money. Of course, one can say there can be lower capital cost, which will of course help because as a, as you remember repeatedly, I have pointed out the capital cost is not just the capital cost, depreciation is also the interest cost, especially in India. Space cost may be revenue share. Either the person is charging for uh, parking or you may sort of say, okay, I will give you some share of the revenue that I make. Electricity cost, maintenance cost may use self operated charges generally. Digital payment is like likely to be used and you can get more or less instant payment today. So, this is what is needed. And if there is a subsidy, you take into account the subsidy and still it has to be viable, business viable. Start with a AC 001 single output charger 15 ampere plug point and you are trying to charge a two wheeler or maybe a, um, a three wheeler or maybe even a small four wheeler say about let us say three four hours hmm? slow charging. Normally a 230 volt input hmm? and output will be what the vehicle needs. A simple charge outlet like this, what does the outlet consist of? Outlet has a essentially a AC plug 
with all the protection a c comes from the from the from the three phase you derive a single phase you put all the protection you put the metering you make sure that the payment mechanism is there hmm? maybe a communication with the vehicle that is what the cost of a box like this may be around 5000 rupees in volume suppose you charge 10 rupees for up to 2 hours usage plus the cost of electricity whatever the electricity it draws hmm? of course it is only going to draw 3 kilowatt of electricity so at whatever rate the electricity supplier gives you you charge them as per the rate plus you charge a 10 rupees as long as you park the car there for 2 hours and charge it if you use it for 4 hours charge 20 rupees hmm? so suppose you do uh, this even a single vehicle charge in a year vehicle per day if you do only one vehicle per day 365 days get 10 rupees you are making 3650 rupees per year you can straight away see that there is really no serious problem 5000 rupees simple three phase plug you don't require too much of electricity you put that you make 3650 if there is only one vehicle on the average will do if two vehicles does you get 7000 rupees so essentially can easily pay for uh, capital cost interest rate and amc not for space but in parking lot it is not a problem parking lot anyway person is paying for parking so ac001 kind of 230 volt makes sense as long as at least once a day it is used if it is used twice a day you are in good you are in a very very good situation hmm? but if you put about 5 or 10 charger not not everything will be used all the time once a day is a good enough maybe sometime twice a day if you get 1.5 times in a year's time you can recover uh, no person is required so you can see the business viability you will pay for your capital cost pay for your interest cost one year interest is not going to be very large it can straight away do that hmm? now this is important the point that i am making is that business is viable ac001 is fine Suppose you take level 2 charger, 6 kilowatt 3 phase. Remember, I had discussed level 2. If a vehicle has a 6 kilowatt onboard charger, hmm, it is a 3 phase, 6 kilowatt is a standard, 21 kilowatt is a fast charger standard. So, 6 kilowatt. Suppose one does that, hmm, a vehicle, larger vehicle is there, maybe a truck is there. So, it is a little larger battery. So, it's, you are trying to draw 6 kilowatt. Huh? So, it is slow charging. Hmm? You charge for let us say 4 hours, hmm? you are able to get 25 kilowatt. You are not necessarily complete battery, but a significant per percentage can be done. So, suppose in this case you charge about 20 rupees per an hour for 6 kilowatt. So, in even a single charge, vehicle charge for 1 hour it will cost you 7500 rupees. So, this also seems very good because 10,000 rupees is your cost. Simple three phase connection I do not think cost really very much and you get 7300. Suppose you now get a higher equipment 21 kilowatt fast charger and let us say in this case equipment cost itself let us say is high 50,000 rupees. Plus, this cannot be directly connected to the simple three phase because simple three phase will not give you from electricity board will not give you so much charging because this is about 20 kilowatt. Huh? They will have to probably draw extra line and they will charge you maybe 50,000 rupees. Remember that. So, your in cost becomes 1 lakh rupees. Now, it is of course 20 kilowatt, you can get almost 20 kilowatt charging in an hour. Hmm? So, now, hmm, you may charge let us say 100 rupees. 
will the person be willing to pay 100 rupees? Well, if the person is not charging at home, is using that plug point, they will have to pay about 100 rupees for 20 kilowatt electricity, 100 rupees, may be willing to pay an extra 100 rupees, it will still come out much cheaper than petrol. That is more or less the maximum that one will be willing to pay. 100 rupees will give you 36,500 rupees. So, 36,500 rupees if one vehicle is charged per day. Now, that is not good enough. 1 lakh is your expenditure, 36,500 you land up paying depreciation, interest, uh, other maintenance cost, maybe space cost and you will soon start getting into trouble. You need at least 2 vehicles to be charged per day. If you do get 2 vehicles per charge per day, you have no problem, you will make money. I think these are simple calculations. Of course, now if government says, government comes under the subsidy of let us say 50 percent for the second charger, 21 kilowatt. In which case, even one vehicle per day is good enough. Maybe in, in the beginning, government may give subsidy, maybe 30 percent, 35 percent. And in the beginning, you can start with one vehicle and the year 2, year 3, it can be 2 or 3 vehicles. So, this is what is required for AC chargers to break even. AC chargers are easier to be break even, either do AC 001 or level 2 charger uh, and that can be done fairly quickly. What about fast DC chargers? Now, I am moving away from AC charger and we are coming to DC charger. So, if I take a 15 kilowatt DC charger, power installation itself may cost you 50 kilowatt, 50,000 rupees, because you are doing 15 kilowatt. Again, you will require a special line electricity board will say, oh to give you a line, I will cost take 50,000 rupees. For larger power of 50 kilowatt, they may charge 1 and a half lakh crore lakhs. This is a typical chargers that electricity board will charge. So, you have to pay that. So, suppose the DC 001 charger, this is a 15 kilowatt charger. Hmm. It, you, the capital cost is 150,000 rupees. Suppose this is the capital cost hmm? and 50,000 rupees you are paying to the electricity board. So, you are investing 2 lakhs rupees plus of course, uh, all the um, um, uh, all the space and other things. Let us assume again it is a self charging. So, person comes connects it and use it and let us say it is you charge 100 rupees per for each charge. In one hour, you can charge the low end vehicle, this Mahindra and Tata's vehicles at AC DC 001, you can charge that. You are charging them 100 rupees premium over the electricity charge, they will pay, not much of a problem, most people will pay. Yearly revenue comes to only 36,500 rupees hmm? and you have invested 2 lakhs, you are going to land up into trouble. Actually, you need at least not 2, but I will say not 2, 3 or 4. This is where the subsidy becomes very important. If government subsidizes half of it and gives you 75,000 rupees subsidy, so you only pay 1, 75 plus 50, 1 lakh 25,000 and if 2 vehicles charge, you can still break it. But I am telling you the government subsidy will become important here and you will have to worry about it. Let us take a higher charger, huh? 50 kilowatt charger. Hmm? You can do GV by T, CCS2 or CHAD-MO, it does not matter, all three standards you have seen. Capital cost for something like this will be 500,000 rupees and the power line will cost you 1 lakh 50, 150,000 rupees, 1 lakh 50,000 rupees. So, your investment is 6.5 lakhs rupees.
Suppose you again charge only 100 rupees for up to an hour charge plus electricity plus parking, well it will only give you 36.5 thousand, forget about it, it will never break even. You need 5 vehicles per day, 5 vehicles per day will give you 180 thousand rupees. 180 thousand rupees is still only 30 percent of your 6.5 lakhs and that barely will cost take care of finance cost, depreciation plus maintenance. Even with 5 vehicles being using it every day, it is a risky proposition. Now, if there is a 30 percent or 40 percent subsidy, 4, four vehicles will break even but less than 4 it will not break even. This is extremely critical because there is lot of clamor today, oh we will put fire fast charger, who will put fast charger, who will break even, even if some government agency or ESL does it, are they going to ever make money? Can subsidy be more than 50 percent? I certainly think this is not desirable. So, until you get enough number of vehicles, you have a problem, four vehicles and you have to find the right location, make sure that they do with sub 50 percent subsidy, four vehicles you can, you can make do this. Of course, if you can reduce the cost of from 5 lakhs to 3 lakhs or if you can somehow say that for power, they do not charge you 1.5, they charge you only 1 lakh, those things will start helping. But basically, the point that I am making is that you need multiple vehicles to be charged to break even. While there is lot of clamor for this level 3 fast charge, we are also designing it. I think it is a good thing, it is requires support and maybe 100 rupees is too little, maybe you can charge in this case 200 rupees, because after all you are going to take 40, 50 kilowatt, maybe that will help. You will need. But until we figure this out, and what happens very often, technical people push for standards, just do things without thinking. In India, if you are charge them 500 rupees, then one vehicle would have been enough. But I do not think the people will be happy paying 500 rupees plus the cost of electricity. That is unlikely. 100 rupees, I see possible. 200 rupees, I think you can ask. Because in one hour you will probably do 30 kilowatt or 35 kilowatt hour. So, that they will say okay, 200 rupees premium is okay. But the point they are making that these are difficult business proposition. AC chargers are not that difficult because the cost is low, the cost of installation is low, DC chargers start becoming increasingly difficult and energy operator will not make money. To sum up on this chapter of chargers, public chargers and charging infrastructure are crucial for EVs to take off. There is no ifs and buts. Small vehicles may mostly use home charging and yet some public charging AC 001 level 1 deployment is required and fortunately that is economically viable and can be quickly set up. You can do it in parking lot, office, multi residential building, some uh, we can also have the some kind of a um, regulation for that, that is viable. That will take off for the smaller vehicles, two wheeler, three wheeler and this AC charges can take off, that can help and let us move and do that first. Larger vehicles will require DC charging, DC 001 or level 3, 50 kilowatts or more can be put in uh, office buildings. Hmm. We will need initial subsidy and wait for business to pick up, that is what is required. All right. There is an assignment that I am giving, hmm. please do that, I will probably add one more assignment in the end, but pretty much I have done the chapter.